Meet the Marine Mammal Stranding Center's newest patient, a six to eight month old female gray seal. The animal was spotted on the beach, coughing and looking lethargic. After care and a cocktail of antibiotics, things are looking up for her. We have to do one more blood draw and then we wait about 10 days and then we get the permission to release her. That's from uh, NOAA Fisheries. The Marine Mammal Stranding Center, a nonprofit on the island of Brigantine Beach, rescues, rehabilitates, and releases stranded marine mammals and sea turtles. We are the only facility in the state of New Jersey that, that has ever done rescue for whales, dolphins, seals, and sea turtles. The center's volunteers and staffers monitor the seals who rest on the beach, checking for injuries, weight loss, and illness. Six seals are netted and placed in this kennel and travel to the center, where they're placed in the intensive care unit. Here, they're given fluids and undergo blood tests to determine a diagnosis. Once the animals are well enough to leave the intensive care unit, they're moved here to the pool house where they stay until they're released back into the wild. The Marine Mammal Stranding Center has responded to more than 4,500 animal strandings since it was founded in 1978. We give them very little human contact. We go in and do what is absolutely necessary and then leave the animals alone. We don't talk to them. We don't try to make friends with them. During the winter, the Stranding Center can have as many as 22 seals. Many stay in tanks in this military hospital tent. Last summer, staffers here responded to six to seven dolphin beachings daily. Many of the animals were infected with the Morbilly virus. Since the center relies on grants and donations, educational outreach is another part of their mission. This morning, they partnered with the Wetlands Institute for Turtle Day. The reptiles are very common in New Jersey. We have a, a great ecosystem to support uh, sea turtle and um, other turtle life. The Wetlands Institute's Caitlin Gannon says demonstrations with live animals are an important component of educational outreach. Because people can develop a connection with them. Um, once they develop that connection, they can develop an appreciation for it, um, and not just for the species, but for the habitat. Five-year-old Gina's favorite part about seeing the turtles up close? You could, um... See it like moving? Yeah, see the head sticking out of it. As for the Stranding Center's newest patient, the seal's doing just fine now. And staffers hope she won't be a patient here much longer. On Brigantine Beach, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.